So today we are going to have a look at something that some might say is controversial and others might say is a lot of fun, which is uh, flame tuning or however you want to call it, pops and bangs, uh, burble tunes, whatever. This can all be done with a Speeduino or in general any ECU that supports Tuner Studio. Yes, it also works with other programmable ECUs or standalone ECUs obviously or with stock ECUs but that's not the point of this video because these ECUs I'm showing it for right now is only standalone units. There are some risks involved if you are doing it to a level where it is actually shooting flames and uh, if you are like doing it for a long period of time you might get some issues or rather you might blow some gaskets like exhaust manifold gaskets, exhaust gaskets in general because obviously there are explosions in your exhaust happening so also if you have a catalytic converter um, you might have Schrödinger's cat so while well, there is a cat you put in you don't know if it exists anymore or if it's already out. Otherwise as I said, it's not gonna be to everybody's taste, but we can realize flames that are on diesel. For example, when you put your foot on the throttle very, very slightly, um, if you are off throttle, the effect is going to be a, a bit less with those settings I'm going to show. And I'm also going to show how to kind of program it in a manner so that it isn't as annoying if you just drive in the city for example if you are using low revs then it won't make a huge amount of noise which i think you shouldn't be doing in the city anyway starting off we want to do a few things the first thing we're gonna do is we go into tuning and acceleration enrichment or rather that tab um, because the there is the acceleration uh, deceleration fuel cutoff in there uh, some issues or some firmware updates might have this as a separate point here which is called deceleration fuel cutoff or DFCO. In my firmware we have that within acceleration enrichment and then we can turn this off or on. Off completely would not stop the injectors from injecting fuel when you are off throttle. So they would still inject fuel according to your VE table. The thing is turning that off will make your fuel consumption higher and uh, turning that on gives you the possibility to turn the fuel injectors off when you are off throttle but there is also the possibility to use that function with a delay so for example three seconds after you uh, let off the throttle they will still inject some fuel and after that they will cut off and stop injecting fuel and we obviously have rpm thresholds here as well which we don't really need right now but the delay is important for us if you want to use dfco and save a bit of fuel this for example would cause the flames or burbles or pops and bangs be active for about three seconds after you let off the accelerator you can also adjust the amount of fuel that is being cut um, but in this case, um, or rather, it only makes sense to cut 100% after the delay because, well, yes, you could set it to less. It doesn't really matter and injecting fuel doesn't give any benefit. Uh, so I just keep this at 100%. The next thing we will do is look at our spark table. So you have your normal spark table. If you have tuned it, that's fine. You don't have to retune or anything and we are just going to look at the bottom one or two rows look at what your kpa level is when you are on d cell so when you are off throttle in gear and decelerating what the kpa value is reading and in those cells where it is active for example let's say i have 25 while decelerating uh, then obviously i could put in 25 in the lowest cell but i'm just gonna for demonstration purposes put in my numbers right here in these lower two cells and here is where kind of the magic happens because obviously when ignition is happening it is happening before top dead center so that the engine actually will produce power or rather will be efficient in that manner but if we shift 
that ignition time or that ignition event to top dead center, for example, at zero degrees, or even after that, for example, if we shift it at minus five, which would be after TDC, where the valve actually starts opening again, the exhaust valve, and that causes the ignition event to happen later and therefore ignite the air fuel mixture actually in the exhaust or rather at the end of the stroke and therefore already the combustion starts to happen within the exhaust and therefore the more ignition angle you are well the more you are pulling it towards uh, retarded so after top dead center the more this effect is going to happen in the speeduino ecus you are able to push this up to 40 degrees after top dead center but the effects of a burble tune or a pops and bangs tune are going to be starting at about five degrees this varies from engine to engine and from can configuration to cam configuration obviously because not every cam is going to already be open at that point so a more aggressive cam will be able to or will make pops and bangs a lot earlier than for example a stock cam for example on an mx5 you can already achieve a few pops and bangs at zero degrees um, but really flames for any flames you want minus 10 as I said, this varies by engine to engine. If you want a bit less pops or less loud noises and more flames, you would need to retard the ignition even further, maybe to 20 or even more degrees after top dead center, but uh, that's at a risk where you are actually um, really pushing a lot of heat into the turbo. And while this is probably something that's that the turbo is going to be able to handle. Um, some of your gaskets, like for example, the manifold to turbo gasket might suffer a bit because there are actual ex uh, explosions happening in the exhaust manifold. On my Toyota, for example, ran minus 40 degrees, which also works. And I was getting a lot of flames once the engine was hot. When the engine is cold, obviously there isn't going to be anything because while well, yes, the fuel gets ignited, it doesn't really uh, make it through the whole exhaust. And for example, if you have a cat still in there, this might actually be beneficial for getting more flames because the mixture is ignited by the very hot cat also. So that might also get you some more if but it might also burn your cat up faster. So that's kind of here nor there. One thing I would recommend you do is to smooth out the tables to the next one above so that the transition isn't as terrible, but make sure that you are not using uh, very low ignition numbers uh, on part throttle cells because on those, um, then it can feel very, um, very boggy and very choppy so you don't really want that so make sure that you when on path throttle and even very light throttle that you are not uh, tipping into that area right here so it make might might make sense to not actually do that transition like i did and maybe only do it like this and this would be so that you don't get any pops and bangs under 3500 rpm so you can drive in the city uh, like a civilized person but this isn't all there also is something in the ve table you have to look at the ve table or rather the fueling is also important for that because not every car is going to be um, the same as for how much fuel it wants some cars and on some uh, tunes uh, for example on a zero to minus 10 degree pops and bang tune you want a little bit less fuel and you want to be aiming at about 17 to 19 afr on your gauge uh, when in deceleration and with more ignition retard so for example at minus 30 minus 40 degrees you want a bit more fuel and if you even add fuel above that you 
will get flames also but they are only happening um, at a lot more uh, or a lot more heat in the exhaust so if you for example use a mild pops and bangs tune for example i would stick to about 40 to maybe 60 ve and that's about where most of the things are going to happen um, but you're gonna have to experiment around with that a bit uh, because it varies from car to car from engine to engine etc uh, please don't look at that ve table too closely it's just an just an example i am not using this for any kind of tune because it looks very weird if you have seen one before that's basically it and uh, this is how to do a pops and bangs tune on a standalone ecu as i said yes this isn't really a bit controversial do it at your own risk also only please don't do it in the city and stuff it, it's just annoying for the other people that are around i hope you could take away something from this otherwise i wish you a nice day and goodbye